Hello again, welcome to a new week. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. You're the real MVP. But if you're a new ch to my channel, hello, my name is Grace, but you can call me Gracie. And I am on a journey to go 22 inches of hair. Yes, you heard right, girl. I want them inches. So I will be using different products and techniques that I will hopefully be able to incorporate into my usual hair care routine so that I can reach that goal sooner rather than later. So if that's something you're interested in, then please do consider subscribing and of course hitting that notification bell so you know every time I upload. And while you're there, why not follow me on my other social media accounts, which should appear somewhere around me right now now and if at any point during my hair growth journey you do decide to use one of the products or techniques that I'm using then please go ahead and use this hashtag Gracie crew growth journey so that I know that you are one of us so with that being said let's get into this video Hey there. So you remember last week how we were talking about that important key to your hair care routine or your hair care goals? Yes, this is that video. So obviously from your title, probably you know what it is. I'm going to be talking about hair porosity. This is something that is so important no matter whether you are type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4 hair, whether you have short hair, you have long hair, you need to know your hair porosity. So as always, we will start by defining what is hair porosity. Basically, porosity alludes to how your hair behaves in reaction to water and how so basically two things when we talk about how your hair reacts to water we're thinking about is how much water is it able to retain within a specific period of time and how much water is it able to absorb within a specific period of time so that is basically what hair porosity is and there are two types of hair porosity, two main times. You may fall in between or somewhere in between, but there are two main types. And these are the ones that we usually refer to. Actually three, well, we'll put them into three. So we have our low porosity, medium or some call it, you know, normal porosity, which is like the sweet spot. And we have high porosity. So remember how in our definition, we were talking about how your hair responds to water. So with low porosity hair, these types of hair strands usually have cuticles that are um slightly open not all the way open and close very easily so with low porosity hair you will notice that the way your hair absorbs water it absorbs water very slowly in comparison to medium porosity and high porosity and when it comes to um releasing water or it releases water at a very slow weight so the same way that it's um a little bit hard for low porosity hair to absorb in water it's also hard for low porosity hair to um, release water so of course there are benefits to this this means that low porosity hair tends to stay moisturized for longer um, you don't have to use as many hair products when it comes to keeping the hair soft keeping the hair you know feeling soft and everything it doesn't require as many products as the other two um, require however with low porosity hair you have to be careful of things like hydro fatigue or moisture overload because should your hair absorb too much moisture then it's going to be very hard to get rid of that moisture so that's just something to be careful about and of course some other things like you know it might take you longer to maybe have your wash day because you need to take your time to ensure that your those products actually penetrate into your hair now we'll go into medium or normal normal because you know each one of them i think is normal but medium porosity i would say is like the sweet spot because your hair is able to absorb just enough moisture but also able 
um, to release just enough moisture so it's pretty balanced it doesn't lose too much it doesn't absorb too fast or too slow and with medium porosity it's i would say probably one of the most low maintenance because um you won't have to work hard to get moisture in but as well you won't have to work hard to to keep that moisture in and most of the times people with medium porosity tend to have less problems with things like breakage or hydro fatigue or dryness because their hair is pretty much in a state where it's pretty balanced in terms of how it responds to water and then we'll go to high porosity now high porosity as it says by now you should have deduced so high porosity is basically you can absorb a lot of water within a shorter period of time than excuse me low porosity and medium porosity however you tend to lose moisture faster which is what my hair is my hair is high porosity and even after i've had most of the hair that i colored and bleached and, and did all sorts of things to cut off even the hair that is growing out now is definitely high porosity so with high porosity you can either be naturally high, high you can either have naturally highly porous hair or it can be a result of chemical damage or heat damage or anything that um possibly like uh weakens the shafts of your hair you could end up having high porosity now with high porosity your focus isn't so much to drive in moisture it's more so now that the moisture is in how do you keep it in so that's where um people with high porosity have to do things like use butters you know use protective styles uh, moisturize more often um, but they don't really struggle so much with getting products in their main focus is how do I keep in this moisture that my hair has absorbed so those are on the types of porosity now how, why are they important to your hair care routine your porosity definitely um, it's the it's the factor that determines what kind of products you're going to use how often you're going to use them how much of them you're going to use as i said before someone with low porosity would be more concerned about making sure that um, their hair absorbs just enough they won't be too worried about you know sealing in that moisture probably on that side for them it's a little bit low maintenance whereas medium porosity is kind of in between you don't need to do too much and of course high porosity the main concern would be okay i'm able your hair is able to absorb moisture but how do i keep it in so depending on where you fall the type of products would matter for example low porosity would want to definitely keep up with a routine that um, doesn't cause their cuticles as well not just from absorbing too much moisture but something else that low porosity people have to be concerned about is making sure that you know they're not using products that cause or using techniques on their hair that cause their cuticles to close up because that would mean again your hair won't be able to absorb moisture so yeah whereas someone with high porosity has to be careful not, be, not to be doing things that you know suck up moisture of their hair or leave their hair you know feeling dry they have to be more consistent with moisturizing and supplying their hair with products that are going to seal the moisture in but as well not cause build up so as i said it's important to know your porosity because then once you identify what your porosity is it's now easier to streamline to say okay my main focus is this and then okay these are just some of the things that i need to make sure i check but my main focus is i need to make sure that i have this and this and this ready for my hair so how do you know your hair porosity as i said in the definition you have to observe observe how your hair reacts to water so as i mentioned in last week in where we were talking about curl pattern you want to observe how your hair responds to water how long does it keep water in without any products in so of course this is not something you can do just once off i would say every maybe twice maybe once or twice a month um just wash your hair and just leave it out to dry indoors don't walk outside because you know maybe the sun might cause things to you know not be accurate so while you're inside your house your apartment or wherever you are that you've washed your hair um once you've 
really washed it thoroughly properly made sure all the products are out of your hair you want to observe how fast your hair is losing moisture and then um a second way to know your hair porosity is just observe how it responds even to products do you have to continually work those products in or basically immediately you put the product in within a few seconds your hair has absorbed it so obviously as i said hair that absorbs moisture and products quicker is high porosity um, and hair that absorbs products and water slower is low porosity so um, with medium porosity you would have to sort of like observe maybe with other people that are sure that they are they are low porosity or sure that they're high porosity so you would know that if your hair is a little bit slower to absorb moisture than someone who knows they are high porosity then you'd be like okay i'm somewhere in the middle so if you know someone that has low porosity hair and they're you know they have all these characteristics of low porosity hair then you have a better idea of what your hair is you would have a better idea if your hair is medium porosity um so yeah apart from just the part about washing your hair getting all the product out and um you can even drench your hair in water actually that would be better drench your hair in water and see how fast it takes your hair to dry out um and you would notice that low porosity hair would would take the longest medium porosity is kind of in between and high porosity would take the shortest amount of time and of course lastly as i mentioned even for the other uh porosity hairs not just medium porosity always constantly compare how your hair is doing is it absorbing moisture faster than before is it absorbing moisture slower than before is it keeping in moisture uh, more efficiently than before this is something that over a period of time just pay attention to it even just two three months of paying attention to the way your hair reacts to products and to water is very useful and of course with every porosity make sure that you are thoroughly washing your hair that is the best way to help your hair out um, no matter how many times or how many products you may be needing to use or how little of them you may be needing to use always make sure that you are clarifying your hair often so that that way when you make your observations they are actually accurate and not just that maybe because of product buildup then your hair is not absorbing enough moisture or perhaps um yeah i'd say that that's about it um so prevent product buildup and once you do that i'd say every two weeks use a clarifying shampoo then observe how your hair is doing is it better is it softer are you seeing less breakage so these are all things that would help you know that okay i think my hair is more so this type of porosity now below i will link a video to i believe her channel name is green beauty and she is excellent at explaining things like this she will show you tests and tricks to use so that you know what type of porosity you are I'm so grateful and blessed that I was able to know my porosity without too much struggle so um, it's it's always um, hair care has always been a little bit easier for me because I'm not like am I high porosity am I low so it's pretty much been in that aspect it's been very great for me so I hope that that video will help you and it will be below i will see you next week bye